So it's Saturday morning and I'm up in concert. And we're heading to the town centre from Medhamsley Road. And um, I was reading before we came out, before I came out, that um, Medhamsley Road was home to uh, Phileas Fogg Snack Company, they made crisps and stuff. And um, the tagline was made on Medhamsley Road in concert. And I've forgotten all about that. Over there's the uh, bus station. And the concert doesn't have a railway station, but it used to. I think it, uh, I think it closed in about 1955 or something like that. And uh, in 2020, they were looking at getting a new line that connected to Newcastle. There was a bit of a uh, um, enthusiasm for bringing the line back to life for this area. But I don't know what's happened since. Does anyone know what's happened to this idea of restoring a railway line to concert the town centre's down that way um, but first I'm going to uh, get a coffee from the hub because I've been here before and it's really good incidentally the uh, the hub at concert is very good they do education supported employment and there's a training cafe and stuff and there's a shop in there as well I do recommend it if you come up here now there's a fact about the Salvation Army apparently concert was the first place to have a Salvation Army band in the mid 1800s. The uh, obligatory Weatherspoons over there, the company row. Over there you've got the Empire Theatre, the shutters are down but I don't know whether that means that it's shut or it's just not open at the moment. And then opposite you've got the Freemasons Arms Ballroom but that doesn't look like it does much business it doesn't look like it's open anymore and um, we've got a few shops a few shops shut up including Bright House which is a good thing a couple of cafes down there the Turkish barbers um, takeaway shops there's a nightclub the Tetan Tietan lounge and lunch bubble tea and food lounge that looks uh, quite Good. Decades nightclub. This market square bit seems to have a bit of uh, something about it. I quite like it. It's got the usual stuff, really. There's spec savers and there's charity shops there's greg's and there's the post office and some things are shut down some things aren't there's super drug over there card factory um a nail bar obviously it's what you get in every town so it's no different really um but i don't mind it it's fairly it's fairly all right i'm going to check that church out over there now spot this music shop looks good Steel Town Music. So this is Christ Church Concert, which is very elegant. And that's opposite where we came across just before, that's Middle Street down there. So Concert had coal mining back in the day, but it was also had steel being made in the town as well for about 140 years, actually. So it is known as a steel town as well as a uh, coal producing town. And you can imagine the uh, the boom it would have had on the population here and the industry. It must have been something actually back in the day when you think about it, steel being um, produced from here. And apparently some of the steel that was made in concert was used to build Blackpool Tower. So let's come across this there. Boarded up house here. It's a huge house on the corner of Constance Street. That seems like a shame. I wonder what happened to that. And that's the police station, which is a very nice police station. So just wandering down Edith Street. Um, I love these terrace houses. Um, oh, they're simple enough and everything. Probably sort of maybe two, possibly three bedroom houses, but I love the stone some of these are made with. And um, just the symmetrical way these streets run. 
and run parallel to each other off other streets as well. It's uh, kind of special. So in terms of location, we're about um, 14 miles from Newcastle in concert here, which isn't far. It's not far to Durham. Um, it's probably not that far to Northumberland, to be honest, um, because we're much higher up in the county of uh, County Durham. So down there you've got Aldi and you've got Morrisons. I think there's some other things down there. There's like a bit of a retail park stretching out as you come out of concert. This is the bottom of the high street. And uh, there's B&Q, KFC. So there's like a Sports Direct kind of shop down there. Just wonder whether that's affected the trade in the town. I bet it has. Um, although it would have provided employment for a lot of people in this area as well. And considering, you know, the impact of what would have happened when the main chief industries around the concert closed um, it would have been welcome to have some employment in terms of the retail parks and different businesses opening up um, but it may well have killed the town centre we'll go up now to the uh, from the bottom up to the top of the town centre and see what's there what's our offer there and have a look around a few more streets gospel hall over there and next to the Lotus Chop Suey House on Front Street. This looks like a bar nightclub type thing. And the turf pub over there. Looking back down the street, I just noticed that really I looked again at these buildings on the top of the building. Fantastic buildings. I know a lot of shops. Oh, there's a funeral parlour and another bar with shop and Closed down units, but the tops of these houses, the tops of these buildings, you see, are rather fabulous. Just off that busy high street on Front Street, you've got these delightful kind of little nestle of terraced houses. Video, TV, and video rental. I wonder whether that's going. And the bakery, was that a bakery back in the day? So that's the, uh, the Methodist Church at Concert, very modern structure. And a uh, citizen's house, not sure what that is. The community centre or something like that. I love these houses with the stone surrounds around the windows at the front. I think they're great, those see a lot of those um, in this area. Look at these houses, this is the avenue. And these are, these houses are great. It's like a walkway that splits between two kind of streets opposite each other and you've got the more sort of semi-detached ones there. Actually they're terrace houses. And then you've got these ones that I quite like. This is a nice street. really like it and them actually concert's got a population of about 25,000 but I don't know if that covers the uh, just the town or the outlying areas I would imagine it covers the outlying areas as well so it's a fairly sizable place around here So this is the Grey Horse and this is one of my uh, favourite pubs. Um, it's home to the Concert Ale Works, so all the local beer um, made in concert. Is this, this is the tap house for it basically. Um, it's too early in the morning to be open but I would have uh, come a bit later, I would have uh, got in there for a pint. It's a great pub by the way. Very friendly and really, really nice beer. Well, I've got a real soft spot for concert. Did a bit of work around here. Uh, not for very long, but sometime last year, found the place very warm, people very friendly. And uh, on that basis, that's why I like it, I think. What more do you want, really? Shit, that's, uh, that's been involved in something. Bloody hell. Could have been vandalised or involved in a nasty accident.
these houses out, these, look at the front doors all very next to each other. That's unusual. It's the same down there as well. I don't think I've seen that before. So here we are then, here's some house prices around the area. We've got some terrace houses. There's one on Ultra, 45,000. 70, 70, 35, 80. So it's a nice one there for 100. Actually, that's in writing, not in concert. But quite affordable. Very affordable. This is the old courthouse. And uh, check out this breakfast menu, it's very funny. Excellent. St. Patrick's Catholic Church. Look at that. It's fairly modern structure, but that bit in the middle with the glass front is uh, is great. So back on Medemsley Road, heading out of the town centre now. And apparently Rowan Atkinson was from, was born in concert, that's quite amazing. And Alan Armstrong, the actor, was also from the area. Um, apparently Denise Welsh is, was, as well, as well as footballers Barry Venison and Frank Clark and there's lots of other um, celebs so to speak from the concert area so it does boast a few. Bellevue Stadium home to Concert AFC. Can't really see in the ground from this position um, but they play in the Northern Premier League East Division and um, but they did kind of all right mid-table-ish I think so they'll be looking to uh, improve on that this next coming season. Come August, I've been a couple of times and uh, it's, it's not too bad, it's got a nice bar, uh, they play on the, uh, on the sort of 3G surface, um, yeah, come and see Concert AFC. So Concert, um, I think it's alright Concert, it's got a number of different shops, it's obviously got out of town retail parks, it's got some pubs, some nice looking cafes, the hub we saw. There's some other ones as well. Um, transport links are probably decent, I think. It's sort of Newcastle and Durham by the bus. Um, you've got Lidl. Um, house price is very cheap, very affordable place to live. And some of those little terrace houses I love. So would I live in concert? Yes, I probably would, yes. And I'm gonna give it eight and a half out of 10.